radiant black. Or is it blacks? Here. Blacks. Yes. Yes. That is definitely not radiant. <laughs> yes. Radiant you blacks. have to understand the context of the comic to get the reference. If you are here, you understand what we mean. So, uh, wow, it's been a minute. You know, got into the comic groove, you know. Uh, As he's reading Marvel right now. Nah, I'm real. Marvel, <laughs> gross. I'm just oh, no, you've got Marvel it. fans, don't kill me. I get it, you know. But, um, so yeah, the chapter was good. Yeah. Uh, we called it. We called it. Uh, not exactly. Uh, you know, whatever. We'll, but We'll take a partial W here. Yeah. Uh, double Radiant Black. So, I, I'm just going to jump into the ending right away because i think that's what mostly what the main video mm -hmm. is going to be about we'll talk about some of the other stuff in the issue as well but um so towards the end here when uh I believe his name is nathan if i got it correctly uh, uh <laughs> nathan goes to uh radiant yellow and says you know hey thanks for all your help all this good <laughs> shit, and then Radiant Yellow's like, "I'm so sorry about Marshall. I, he, but it was a conga, you know. He he died for what he believed in, and then he's like, oh no, 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 no. Marshall's alive.' Radiant Radiant Yellow's like, "No, he's supposed to be dead. <laughs> no. So that is interesting. Uh, so Wendell Radiant Yellow apparently has the ability to see." Parts of the future. Yes. Uh, 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 I want to say it's like a full... Precognition, if you will. I want to say it's a full vision of the future because he's not he's not on the level of uh, precog that Doctor Strange is on where you can see seven million different universes. And you spoiled the movie in none of them. Um, because, uh, but no, like, it's, it's interesting because he doesn't see any good in Marshall being alive, which, honestly, I can vouch for him there. Yeah, I guess. I mean, because... He said he's going to get us all killed. Now, when he says he's going to get us all killed, that can mean many different things. Um, it could mean the Civil War, me and Vex have been hopping up. Uh, it could mean uh, he's going to do something stupid. Which is all his character does. Yeah, he could do something stupid and get them all killed. Or like, maybe he might even side with the people who are going to have war with, you know. Because, I mean, it, here's the thing. that uh, we, we don't have enough information going off on what exactly he meant by, oh, He's gonna get us all killed because him seeing the future, he saw that Nate Marsh in his future he saw Marshall dies, Nathan gets the radiant back, and uh Life goes on. Life goes on, basically, right? But uh the timeline changed. Uh he kinda shot himself in the foot window when he said, you know, the future can be changed. <laughs> but anyways, um and so but the curious thing is, so now we can transition a little backwards, go, starting things backwards, right? So now that Radiant, now that Marshall and Nathan both have pieces of the Radiant, it looks like, uh, like half and half, like they take turns about who gets the power and who doesn't, is just what I gather. Uh, it doesn't look like they can use it at the same time, only if like half and half. So it reminds me of Danny Phantom a little bit when uh, Danny was split into two characters. Uh, by, by mirror or something like that, and like one half could only use like phasing powers, and then the other could only one could only use like the ghost ray beam powers. So, uh, but I'm assuming it's something different because like they both were able to use the gravity, both of them were able to use, and like when they're together, only one half goes and the other half, you know, left left and right. I, I would say so. It's very interesting. It's very different than what I was thought. I would have preferred radiant green, but that's fine. It's good. You can still get it. We can still get it. I'm Shift joins the team, and this becomes full on fucking Power Rangers. <laughs> I would. I can hope. I can hope for my radiant green. Let's go. I'm. I'm just happy Nathan's back as Radiant Black. To be honest, I. I, I love my boy Nathan. Great written character, but, um, because now he was in associated. Pick. Doesn't matter. He's great. Fuck you. How dare you? How dare you? Anyways, when this Nathan slander's done with, <laughs> uh, because because. We don't know why he was supposed to die. Because cause me, he can get us all killed. Like I said, it can mean different things, you mm -hmm. know? And um, now that they both are essentially radiant black, like, what could that mean for... Uh, well, we know we're going to a war. Yes, we're building up to it. Uh, I don't know if this arc was um, 
And we know the next issue is also all of Wendell's backstory because yes. they've already announced that like eighteen, like every six issues, basically they're going to focus on one of the radiants. Yes. Um, they mentioned all this at the, I believe it was San Diego Comic Con's panel. Um, and we talked a little bit about it, and I think it was like the last Rogue Sun that we did. Yeah, that's wow. It's been it's rough, rough couple of weeks. Rough yeah. So um. We'll be doing a double review on Rogue Sun, the the last issue and the Choose Your Own Adventure that will be coming out at the end of the month. Um, yeah. Because at this point, we might as well just bundle them together. Yeah. <laughs> Dead Lucky tomorrow. I yeah. get paid tonight. I yeah. didn't I, I didn't know that. Hooray! Yay. I can afford comics. I'm not poor. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, because, I mean, this whole issue was just a great little uh, callback to – not really callback, but just a great fan service for us because, like – the fight was amazing. Um, it's just the overall. I'm happy that we get to see more radiance. I think that's probably one of my, one of my biggest issues with the series right now is that like I mean I mean, of course he's the the, the the titlier character. You know he's the title character, whatever. But I do like I did really do like the side characters, and um, I would have loved to see more of the radiance. So I'm happy we're gonna get a radiant uh, red, yellow panel. Um, well, not um, issue next issue uh, because. Uh, I did like the side characters, mm-hmm. and I do like the villains as well. I definitely do like the villains. Um, Shift and a bunch of them are very, very. I feel bad for that one tech guy. I didn't know that. Did, Ray, did Nathan Marshall actually kill one of his friends by? It was by accident, or it, it does seem like it was accidental. But yeah, because he's very pissed about that. And then mm-hmm. we don't even know like what did he send to the whole world, like. That was the biggest thing. Like, was it like a virus? Was it like it's? It seems like what he did was he uploaded some sort of like data bomb and basically leaked a bunch of information asking for allies at this point. Yeah, what, he said alien I'm technology doc. So probably what it is is like people who people can now use that technology for their own means. Mm-hmm. I, I think that's what it means now. Because it's like you said, zero, the, the 001 papers, alien technology docs. So, like, he probably was all researching, the, like, the radiant, uh, the and shift, all, yep. and all that stuff. And he was just like, you know what? I'm just going to do – it reminds me of a, a syndrome. Yeah. If everyone supers, no one will be, you yeah. know, situation. So he probably just, like, gave everyone the blueprints to make their own alien technology. And now – our true world gallery for Radiant Black begins. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I don't want him fighting a bunch of nobodies, for sure, but I, I do think we need an actual rogue gallery. We have little bit villains here and there, but we don't. They're, they're not very fleshed out either, besides Shift. Uh, and, and the, and Shift, the one girl who's yeah. not even a fucking villain no more. <laughs> yeah, I mean, while well, Radiant Red got like a whole fucking comic line, and Shift got a bunch of mini issues. Yeah, um, I mean, Radiant Red was our villain, but I mm-hmm. mean, she not really... She know. wasn't really a villain, mm-hmm. although I gotta re- uh, I gotta still read her shit. <laughs> yeah, like the ending of her comic, mm, love it. Um, because not only is she able to fuck over the the people fueling all this shit, she's able to you know get a one up on her husband as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, good. you love to see it. Fuck abusive partners. Well, fuck it, them. It was, well, in this case, more gambling addicted partners. Either way, uh, we don't you know, condone uh, uh, he, abusive partners. We yeah. kick them in the dicks. We flick them in the tits. They're <laughs> gone, okay? <laughs> fuck you and your abusive natures, you fucking pieces of shits. Fuck you. Uh, okay. Anyway, <laughs> so everybody got real passionate. <laughs> but uh, like, I, 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 he's basically Tyler One. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. But no, like, um, anyway, that's a whole other topic about why you should not get addicted to online gambling. <laughs> uh-huh. Then that has no place on Twitch or YouTube or, or whatever. But anyway, like, the, the big the big downside to the whole mass over for me is definitely the villains. Um, I, I really wish we would have a better, more fleshed out rogues gallery. I wish we would have staying power in our villains too mm-hmm. because we really do like adventure of the week wrap up a lot of them uh, yeah and within the issue i'm hoping for dead lucky to have to have something or inferno girl red to have something too well inferno girl red's 140 fucking pages for volume one it's uh, all like really? it's like one massive like the soul shit, eater you know, size it should have been out a lot it should have been out this month like shit what last month this month it, it, it got, got delayed yeah she's still inking a lot of the issue apparently um because I follow her on Twitter, and mm. it's almost done, though. 
so that's it's good but mm -hmm. shit i i want to read it uh i do know um we're also getting another supermassive yes it's great so video for another time though radium <laughs> but, but like what what is really interesting this issue is with this whole precognition i wonder if, when we get to the next issue are we going to see how that's affected him because you can see he's just come to terms with this ability right yeah yeah so uh, I, I think he's had to have one of those journeys of like, well, I have this blessing, but it's also a curse because I know what's going to happen before it happens. So I know like my partner is going to die or my child's going to, you know, become a villain and I'm going to have to stop them, you know. Ah, yes. Yeah. Shit like that. BET movie of the week. But I do think we're we're also touching into that. I figure we'll touch into that like, how he figured out he can change the future too. Yeah, um, because I, I could be wrong, but I don't think his powers ever was future sight back when we first met him. Uh, I could be wrong, of course. It's been a while. I have to go back and look. But uh, I, I, because I, I do want one thing. I uh, another thing I think we need to focus on is the fact that we don't know too much about the radiance. Even the fucking giant robot doesn't know much about the radiance, and I, and I want to have a time to see like. How does a radiant user evolve their powers? Because I, I, at this point, and the reason why I bring this up is because, like I said, I could be wrong. Let us know in the comments. But I don't remember him having seen cognition when we first met him. If I, I feel like that's something I would remember for a power because I know it's gravity, teleportation, like constructs, right? And then I forgot what the fuck he did. But um, I don't think we really got too deep of a look at blues either. Yeah, but it's it's just like um, we, we know reds blacks uh we know pinks yeah pinks is teleportation red is what what is red she's like mass manipulation yeah um, and then <laughs> we know the gravity gravity um, but it's just like when it comes to yellow we don't really i mean maybe like i said maybe you know, it's hard to say but uh i think one thing i would like to be touched on in the upcoming issues is how how will the radiance ev do the radiance evolve with the user like can you learn more stuff as you gain to learn the powers, so and I, I, maybe you know uh, the Radiant Red series kind of expanded upon that, maybe because I you, you saw a little bit of like her gaining the ability to grab bigger and bigger things, but like it doesn't really evolve her evolve, power yeah. set too much. Because if because it feels like because uh, she basically started like being able to move like little bits and pieces of stuff, and then as it progressed, like she was able to complete the heist to pay off the debt. Yeah, because uh, I know because Radiant, Radiant Black, you know, we see his. Evolution here and there, you know, not really evolution, I would say, but him learning, he like, got the cape. <laughs> yeah, uh, the gravity, but it's just, uh, I, that's the one thing, we, we need to know more about the Radiance, and I, I think Kyle Higgins is just uh, giving us little pieces and chunks so we don't get over overfed right away, and I respect that type of writing, you know, we don't have to know everything right away, I, that's why we make these videos, to speculate and theorize, because what's the point of giving everything, getting spoon fed when you can just theorize, you know? Uh, but but Thurman, like the the issue we continue to find is like even though we're being spoon fed and we like that we we need we need more we need to we're nineteen issues in by the time the war starts. Yep. Because yep. we got eighteen coming up with Wendell's backstory and nineteen, I believe, is when they said the, the war arc starts. I could be wrong on that, but I know it was supposed to start like this this fall. Maybe too soon to start the war arc, but I like I'm not a writer, so I wouldn't yeah. know. I, I mean, we could get, like, the, the fuck, because we basically set up, like, the, the potential for the army here. Yeah, because, I mean, because we don't know, um, because my head cannon will be either two things. The, uh, he's gonna get us all killed line to either mean, like, like I said, uh, either he's going, it's going to be the civil war that me, between the Radiant Blacks that me and, uh, Vex have been hopping up, because different in, uh, ideolo I ideologies with Nathan and Marshall, uh, we've seen that. Um, or Marshall does something fucking stupid, and like that causes you know uh because because like I can see it being like similar to like Invincible how like how Invincible how Mark was uh his partnership with Dinosaurus and how he was doing better for the world and Dinosaurus kind of fucked him over and like killed like half the population of like the world or some shit with his flood. And like, even though it was confirmed that dinosaur, when dinosaurs did that, it did improve the world. But uh, yeah, you know, something like that, where like Marshall's convinced to do something, 
by like shift or a villain or whatever, and it ends up bringing like the people who start the war here or something like that. And it's in Marshall's character, which we all Marshall's a hothead. He doesn't really think that much because I mean, this is the same man who thought doing NFTs was a good right. idea, right? So like, uh, it always makes me feel like he will he will give in to the shift ideas because of his jealousy with Nathan. You know what I mean? Uh, I mean, because right now they're chill. You know, they're both like, okay, we both can be radiant black or whatever. But uh, I mean, anything can happen in the span of two issues. You know, like jealousy happens all the time. You know, uh, you realize someone's better than you. You know, you. You're not doing best the best as you thought you were. It, 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 and it, you it, see the self conscious nature in both of them too. Yeah, you, you you see sometimes that jealousy can get the better of you. So it doesn't blow. It doesn't surprise me if Marshall w- has a moment of weakness and gives in to into temptation uh, because the fact that he was supposed to die and they changed that future is very very interesting. Because like it's crazy, right? Nathan was supposed to die. Marshall brought him back. And then now Nate Marshall is supposed to die, and then Nathan brought him back. How it's funny how how funny how that works. But uh, I mean, I mean, I, I think like even because I'm going through um, another creator's uh, Twitter timeline trying to find like when the war was supposed to uh, start. This is issue twenty's cover, and they're both um, full fully fully powered up. So we might have even been wrong there potentially, or that might just be like in a little well, red herring. Yeah, because I mean, because I mean, that's the what they you know they look like they both both couldn't fully transform unless, like I said, they trained and evolved to be able to both transform. Right. But even then, though, there's we don't have nothing, no full information about the radiance even suggests that. That's the case, you know? Right. And that's one thing that I, I will say I don't – I wouldn't say I wouldn't like, but as a kind of a knock towards the Radiant Black's writing is, is that we don't have enough information about mm-hmm. the Radiance to know how they pick fully on a, <coughs> on a level where, oh, is it possible for you to learn new powers that – you know, or is it possible to evolve your powers or shit like that or share your Radiant even? Yeah. It, it's something that needs to be really explained before we get – super deep into this war yes uh because um i don't know if the war will include rogue son or dead lucky probably not but uh i mean shit they're they're all in the same universe so like if it's a war that's going to affect the whole world and different cities i don't i see no reason why uh because i i, lo- I like the fact that they mentioned rogue son in this chapter too <laughs> it was really, really yeah funny. it really was funny what if the superhero from another, from another city comes it's really funny but uh, overall, though, uh, not a bad issue. Uh, I, I definitely did enjoy it. I love the fights. I think Kyle Higgins is really good with his fight choreography. Uh, I love the fact that he was just taking on all of them, like, completely. Uh, I did love – what's her name? Uh, I know she was supposed to be a villain, but I did love – like, her, 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 her internal battle uh, with uh, – Trying to do this was very interesting. I wonder if she's going to be a, a part of the uh, to help with the war as well because she technically gets gets her energy from Radiant Black. Yep. So that's the thing, right? Because I don't think she's going to be massively important overall, but I feel like she'll be like their support, like basically a, like an Oracle or yeah. an Alpha Five. I mean, better than Oracle because <laughs> she's going to actually be able to fight on the front lines as long as she has Radiant energy. She should be yeah. okay. Uh, and it helps and it helps with the tremors too. So, um, now I'm curious: is it just radiant black that gets that boosts up them up, or is it just like any? I radiant? think it's people that are connected to just any radiant because, this radiant because yellow energy. going to her probably gave her like a a bunch of juice, a bunch of juice. So right. it's just like and the technology that they have uh, only works when they have a little bit of like the radiance next to them to give them their energy boost, and that's why they want they want the radiance for themselves. Uh, and um, it's crazy too. We also know that uh, even if you die, if you don't have a um, if you don't have a uh, someone to transfer the radiant, you the radiant stays inside you because Marshall. I mean, I mean, he wasn't necessarily dead, dead. But I mean, neither was Nathan. He was on death's door, right? But his radiant after that, his radiant should have transferred to one of them, and it didn't. Exactly. So um, that's the thing. Like, it's really interesting. How we've uh, learned little bits and pieces of that, but I'm curious: like, do they permanently stay dormant, or do they 
eventually, like, when somebody, say, comes to collect your corpse, if it comes there. That's something that I really wish would be uh, clarified here, because if we perma kill one of these Radiants, we're kind of down a hero in this war, and that would be some massive stakes. Mm -hmm. Because I don't know if the other Radiants know about the war. I'm pretty sure in the flashback we'll see. But It's just saying, coming soon. Okay. So, because, I mean, like, if if that is the case, and we're preparing for the war, and now we have two Radiant Blacks, um, it, it can only mean, like, okay, so even the robot doesn't know what the, what the suit shit means, which is very interesting. The robot who, I, 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 was, I assume, if not created them, at least, like, brought them to the Earth, would know at least something about the Radiance, but, exactly. like, even him doesn't know why Nathan still had it, was connected to it, or why, uh, you know, uh, and it's not, and that, it's not technically a foreign concept for you to still be linked to your power in... Because he, uh, he, he had it for a while. He yeah. still had the Radiant for a while. Well, technically, like, in Toku or in Power Rangers, like, there are Rangers that are still able to connect to the Morphin Grid from season to season to season, especially, like, in what, what fucking Power Rangers loves to do is anniversary seasons, and, mm. like, you would still have people like Tommy or... Jason or Adam be able to come back and morph one more time, or if you're fucking Tommy, 70,000 more times. Yeah, the fan favorite character. But, like, so it's not a foreign concept, and since this takes so much uh, of From a... From Toku, yeah. yeah it, it makes sense to have Or, something. I guess, Sentai. I mean, yeah. um, Toku, Sentai, fan Same fan fucking thing. Um, I'm gonna get fucking eviscerated in the comments for that one. Um, but it's not a foreign concept, so I, I like that we're having that nod, and it's something I love about Dead Lucky, too, is because you lean more into like the common Rider old command ass um part yeah. of it I, it's just um we're just looking for information right now and i information and, and that's definitely something we need as we continue down this this catalyst war as it's being dubbed because once we get into the war that's how i'm going to judge it because what kyle higgins is magnificent at is writing a war arc really i'm hyped i'm hyped because uh he wrote for most of Shattered Grid, mm. which was what really got me back into Power Rangers and Moon Comics. So him and Ryan Harrett uh, as a duo in that was just what made me fall absolutely in love with their writing style. Mm -hmm. So once we get to that war, that's how I'm going to judge this comic. Yeah, I mean, um, the arc, starting arc so far isn't bad. Uh, I did like, like I said, uh, a lot of good stuff here. No negatives. I don't think the only issue I see is... Uh, we don't have enough information about the Radiance to really make a guess on, like, how this even came to be. We don't have too many explanations. And I'm assuming Cal Higgins is saving these explanations for the war arc. Which, mm -hmm. I mean, of course, smart. Uh, but, like, everything else, that was very, very, you know, very Radiant Black chapter. A lot of good fights. A lot of uh, little I, I love the conversation between, like, uh, um, uh, Marshall and her over here. Like, I love how Marshall's like, yeah, you're right. I, but, you know, I need to stand for something. Why, why, uh, what's the point of standing for something if I can't, you know, save it? And it just, this makes me think that she is going to at least help them in the war, or mm -hmm. at least, and I do like her characterization and her character quite a bit. Um, she definitely, uh, is just a normal person trying mm -hmm. to live her life, trying to do the best she can, and the tremors don't help. So, like, it, you know, I think. It's it's a, it's the same way with Radiant Red. Uh, very uh, good people who were put in bad situations, yep. and now you know they they can't help the hand they've been dealt. And it's un it's unfortunate, you know, but it's very common. Yes, and also you see it like way more in real life too. Yeah, rest in peace to Wendell's car. <laughs> oh yeah, he had to catch the bus. Yes, sir. Uh, but uh, I hope public transportation there is better than it is here. <laughs> yeah, probably. But yeah, bro, it's it's just interesting, man. Like I love this. I just love. The, I love uh, watching Shift get his ass kicked. Yeah, <laughs> and the fact that um the one guy here is like, we need a contingency plan, you know, like stuff like this. Like I really love that how they prepped for this so well, and but they didn't press for a second. Well, I mean, technically they did, but but, but they not didn't well prep for this. Not well enough, I would say. Not well enough. You know what I mean? And I, the, you can tell they're really dead on serious about getting the radiant too. Mm -hmm. Like, and I love their. I love the one guy. He's just like. Oh yeah, uh, what was their team name? Something five? Fab five. Fab five. <laughs> That's such a millennial name to say too. Yep. I, yeah, Fab five. 
I'm just like, really? That's that's my one negative. It's the team name. Come on, you can do better yeah, than that. Because my thing is with this. But I guess like Fantastic Four, Fab Five, why yeah. not? Because you know when when uh, Nathan and uh, Wendell are talking in the the car, you know, it's like he said, it's like when you have a word on the tip of your tongue. But it's a word that you haven't learned yet. Those moments, anything seems possible, anything seems changeable, blurry. This is one of those moments, Nathan. Sometimes one person can change the future. So we can see that he he kind of explains his future his futuristic uh, precognition powers yeah. a bit. It's like a you know it's a little blurred, and we see it uh, him have a have one after Nathan transforms, mm -hmm. and like and that's why he decides to leave his car right there because you see after that he's like. Oh, blah, 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 blah. And then, like, he just walks away. Well, he well he drive no well, he drives his car a little forward, and then he just takes it and walks away because he knows what's going to happen. Yep. So, um, and that was, and we know that was like uh, that was that was actually quite a while ago. A while ago, so we can infer that his his precognition powers maybe go like maybe like an hour or two, yeah. maybe like ten fifteen minutes into the future, because as we can see during the issue itself. Uh, it's it, like it plays out. He's like, um, because I don't know when it says like what the time frame actually is. As I'm looking, okay, there we go. The time frame actually is. So it says a couple of minutes ago. Mm -hmm. So like a couple of minutes ago, he gets picked up by Wendell, <laughs> and uh, and then after that, after he gets after Nathan turns into Radiant Black. He gets the precognition and then he drives the thing forward and like a few minutes, a few issues later, that's what the car happens. Yeah. So we can assume that maybe during that it was like 10, 15 yeah, minutes into the future. Not maybe. a lot of time. Yeah. So like the fact of the matter is of like, because cause maybe, uh, cause I know it's similar to like maybe like for him to have like more like for him to go days or even weeks or years into the future yeah. it could cause maybe it could cause use more power and like it hurts him or something like that but like it was something like precognition which because we don't know the limits so i'm assuming like he can only go like 10 15 minutes mm -hmm. into the future uh and maybe he sees multiple futures too because after he saw the car thing and then he saw what what's her name was going to do with the bell mm -hmm. and then he saw that marshall was supposed to die right so the fact that marshall didn't die Maybe he saw another future where yeah. Marshall betrays him. Or... Yes. Because, I mean, cause it, it doesn't look like he's on the same level as, like, Lucius or you watch from Bleach. Lucius and Black Clover, those of you guys don't know. Uh, with their future seeing shit, but more so on the realm of, like, I would say, like, a hockey foresight or, like, uh, I, know this, I, mean, I, mean, I don't know many comic book characters that have precognition, but, like, characters like those who can, yep. like, see, like, 10, 15 minutes into the future. And then just try to make judgment call based judgment on Judgment based off that. Because it's not like, you know, you can see, like, full-blown timelines and yeah, shit. Yeah, he's and not like, on Doctor Fate or Doctor Strange levels of, like, yeah. I can see, you know, into the multiple realities. Yeah, and but he can, he can definitely multiverse. see, like, he can definitely see, like, I'm going to assume, like, 15, 20 minutes into the future yeah. at most. I think that's a good fair assessment. And for his age, that's mm -hmm. pretty fucking far into the yeah. future. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, won't, yeah. If his abilities are about to are able to evolve, I don't think they'll evolve that much given his age. Mm -hmm. I love Radiant. Makes you more young or healthy somehow. I mean, he's, he's actually fucking like twelve, and he just rapidly ages. Well, yeah, that'd be trippy as shit. But uh, yeah, man. Um, but like, based off of the fucking uh, synopsis for. Um, issue 18 that's not the case he's actually you know as old as he looks yeah so, um i did like it though i did i'm happy that uh we got like i said we had another radiant i wonder what radiant peak's doing best girl hashtag uh i like i like the all the symbolism and character interactions we had because it was definitely was uh a a, a, a lot of characters realizing yeah. you know uh, and now that the fab five has been separated separated uh, and we now have alien technology doc notes for like a fucking fifteen year old to find all oh, the God. internet. You don't. We don't really know what's gonna happen. Hey, you know? don't forget to smash that bell, everyone. <laughs> Here's how we build an alien neutron bomb. <laughs> because that's really how it is, right? Because you gave the whole world access to this technology that you were creating, or at least helping create. 
uh, it opens a can of worms. Now people can use that for good. People can use that for evil. Doesn't really matter. But hell, we might even see more people trying to help Radiant Black. Can you imagine? You know? a, since YouTube canonically exists, can you imagine how obnoxious Alien YouTube would be? Yeah, because you're gonna have like the the deep pockets of the internet like. And this is how I find a, a mating device. Where <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I mean, because you have to be pretty smart to understand the alien technology. I'm sure. So I'm pretty sure all like the geniuses and prodigies are even going to even remotely understand what the fuck they <sighs> and they the incels. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I mean, easy. Out. You, uh, you got alien Elon Musk here. Uh, and, and, shit, shit. <laughs> and shit. And that's why you're like shit because he reminds me of Elon Musk. It all makes sense. Okay. Okay. Though you know Vex hates Elon Musk with passion. I just every time Elon Musk tweets, I always see Vex tweet something. <laughs> Right after just shitting on the man, <laughs> so <laughs> retweets or half Elon Musk, half comic. See, related. it's funny. We did that with Trump. Now we do that with Elon Musk. It's I mean, funny. they're the same fucking person at this point. They're both horrible and detrimental to society. He's, he's just like the Lex Luthor, fucking, you know, or Doctor Doom. I know, no, Jay Fez is Lex Luthor. Elon Musk is like the Doctor Doom. Of fucking yeah, Luthor. that's more accurate. Yeah, yeah, so you know how it'd be. You know how it'd be. But um, I honestly don't have much to say about the issue other uh, than that. Uh, a lot of good stuff. It just we we'll probably have like a shorter review next uh, time unless something massive drops in this flashback up. Yeah, really but, good stuff though. Uh, <laughs> but what will be interesting is like now that we have all three basically coming out monthly, Dead Lucky, Rogue Son, and oh, Radiant month, Black. This monthly comic's gonna kill me. It's gonna be interesting because we know from the interview that they're technically in the same universe, but not. They're not going to be super connected. Yeah. But we're just seeing references now, so I'm curious, like, are we going to start seeing that in Dead Lucky? Are we going to start seeing mm-hmm. – because the world of Dead Lucky seems a lot more interconnected. Yeah. It, it's, good to, it's good to see that the uh, – I like the fact that they're acknowledging that they exist. Mm-hmm. As a good to, it's good for a multiverse to at least acknowledge that each character from different comics exists. I do like that. And then with Supermassive, obviously, we'll have our one team up issue probably yearly at this point. Because we might get new characters for Supermassive, too, not just uh, – well, I'm, right. assuming, I'm assuming this, the, our main three is coming yep. with – included with Dead Lucky, but we might get like another – Yeah, we'll Supermassive. probably get another introduction in it if if we want to go super, uh, super massive <laughs> with it. Puns! But, but I, I don't want to see this world get – too overly complicated because it's the perfect starter comic for people. Mm-hmm. And that's why, I, like, I was retweeting uh, or and arguing with another fucking uh, Rain Black uh, creator. Like, this is perfect. Like, there, there's no need for a reading list for that, and it's something you don't really get in comics oh, yeah. anymore. I saw that in uh, in Reddit, and I was just like, don't do that because you're just gonna confuse them. Right, because you don't have to read Supermassive to understand, and yeah. you don't have to you don't have to read like all of it. You know, like, outside of the shift minis and outside of Radiant Red, but even those aren't super important to this yeah. universe. The one thing I did like when Amelia Forrest, when we talked to her, interviewed her, rather, uh, I did like the fact that she agreed with us that the whole way Marvel and DC does, like, spin off into spin off into spin off, this arc connects to this arc, this, this book to this book to this book, that's very confusing for new readers. Mm-hmm. And so I'm happy they're settling their super massive to be very easy and concise for new readers to right. read because that. Way better than, you know, exactly. having, like, reading Spider-Man number one and then being like, oh, shit, you have to read Spider-Man 22 to understand this arc. Or, you know, reading Batman 45, then you don't, you don't know what happened in this arc to Batman. Yeah, read well, Batman you gotta read. 66, you know, like, yeah. it's, it's very confusing. It, it's if, annoying, especially when you have, like, this month was uh, Amazing Spider-Man's Thousand Issue. Mm-hmm. And, like, two years ago, we had... Detective Comics 1000. And those issues are referential to shit that happened in the fucking Bronze Age. Yeah, that shit. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, that that's not something we would like to... And when you think about what the Bronze Age was for DC, it was the fucking 60s, man. Who the fuck is going to go back and read something? You'd be from... surprised. You'd be surprised. You can get, like, the omnibuses. It's not like they're, like, overly complicated to get... But nobody is going to sit down and read fucking issue 19 of goddamn something that came out in 1969. Yeah, you'd be surprised. But, I mean, I, you know, I, I get it. I get it, right? I definitely Even if it, it was just, like, a little Easter egg. I'm like, are you fucking – I've I've 
actually I am that bastard that has done this. <laughs> yeah. But I also had so much free time that I could sit down and just read like three thousand page omnibuses <laughs> for yep. a while. I mean that. I mean that's how it is, you know. Like some people like going back and reading, but I, the old art, I because before comicology went to shit, I, that's one thing I did like. You can go back and read like those old school comic books, right? And more or less, not be confused. But it's just like most people be, like those old artists, those old comics did not age well, art wise or story wise. No. It's, 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 I've I've been rereading like the Silver Age fucking X Men on Marvel Unlimited, <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, <laughs> just, like those yeah. those stories didn't really like age well. When it, like even like, no, when, like, even when in the series it's supposed to be like super progressive and inclusive, like the terminology in some of those did not age well in particular. Yeah, and it, it reminds me of uh, old school manga manga stuff, like stuff made in the seventies and eighties. Like I think the biggest ones like Dev- Devilman, Bastard. Uh, ba- you know, I mean, Bastard. Probably doesn't hold up well. It's still enjoyable though, but uh, yeah, I agree. It, it's that. it's super yeah, like yeah, it's, essay it's, oriented. Yeah, it's 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 best. Of, it's it's literally made in the eighties. The, yeah. the hardcore rock metal like punk like yeah, badass. I, I, like, I, I love don't know, that that style. Like that, 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 I did like the manga was very good. Don't get me wrong, yeah. but yeah, it does not. It aged like milk. Like that double o like double o nine the cyber Joe like. Stuff like that, you know. I, you honestly, gotta, even like Saint uh, Saint Theo stayed the test of time. Same with JoJo because of like adaptations and shit like that. But even even when I'm reading Saint Theo, it's good. But that shit did not age well for, for a manga. Like if Saint Theo was made now with the same type of writing, it, I don't think it would last very long. No, shit. The, it's good. Don't get me wrong, but goddamn. But I digress. But it, you know, shit like that. It's so, a product of its time, and you got to take it as such. Yeah. So, uh, I, I don't really have much to say. I mean, uh, we waste the time uh, for a tangent for 37 minutes, but, uh, great, great issue. Kyle Higgins is despite some issues I have is doing great work. I can't wait for the backstory for, uh, one, yellow. Now, uh, hopefully we get some introduction of how, or of how he got to, uh, maybe, really yeah, maybe he already had the power. I'm not sure, but how he got the radiant. How he uh, went through the future stuff, and maybe we might even get info on, on why he wanted Marshall to die. Yeah. So, well, other than being a piece of shit, you know. Yeah. So, for yeah. that, that's yeah. peace for me. Peace for me.